Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where you can watch games and practice game design. Back at it with Oak Me. We haven't talked to Gramps yet, Back but we should. Hello, Gramps. Yeah, go yeah. <laughs> She's gone. So that giant bamboo sprout was to cradle to take her home. Well, my prayers are with you, dearest Kaguya. Hope you don't die in space. Never worked this hard in my bamboo way before. I'm gonna build a bamboo palace by the time Kaguya returns. <laughs> my prayers are with you, dearest Kaguya. Okay. Too bad I'm an old man right. and I might yeah. not live more than four more years, but you know. Gosh, it's... Uh, why do you? Why do you keep biting him in the end? Because oh, oh he's straight gee. up following oh, you. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, what do we need to do now? I don't know. Kaguya is gone. Do we have an objective? Mm, not really. Maybe something will happen as we leave. Yeah. Maybe Kaguya will be like, oh, by BT Dubs, come find me in space. By the way, we're on Mars now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd be you'll down. You'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you? You're fucking with me. I'm not saying we're you going to Mars. You see me there messing I'm not, with me. I'm not saying we're going to Mars. Are we going to get to the moon? But I'm not not saying... If you had a chance to get to the moon, would you? I'm not not saying we're not going somewhere weird. Oh, uh, well, you know, typically in this game we go places weird. Excuse is he just running me. around with a bowl of rice? Like, Jeez. fuck, fuck, I have a bowl of rice. I don't know where this goes. Oh my goodness. I don't know what to do with this bowl of rice. I can't figure it out. All right, um... Okay, well, we're just gonna keep well, going this way. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, well, we're done what? with the city. Yeah. I guess now we Are can we go. Really done with well, we can go fight the uh, the serpent, I guess. Right? Oh. Like, we never took care of him. The serpent out on the coast? Yeah, mean? the water serpent. Out by the, the ship. How Seems the hell do I get there? Weird to, like, go all the way back there right after we just went all the way back here, but you yeah. Know. Shoot. Yeah, no. How do I get there again? Yeah, no. Look at yeah, your map. No. Is it this way? Yeah. Is this way? You're okay. fine, man. Okay. It's not that far away. All right. All right. All right. All oh, right. Because this is out to the bridge. The big bridge. Yeah. The big old bridge with the phoenixes. <laughs> um, You're only saying that because you just saw them pop into existence. <laughs> Why maybe. Are you going down there. Because I want to. Should I do these things again? No, let's not. Oh, that's right, because you failed at those. I mean, you do you, man. You're the master of this domain. I'm going to... We're going to go this <laughs> way and see what happens first. So when we go back and we, we get everything, should we do that after we beat the game? And just like... So one, one thing we've been talking about, and feel free, uh, all you guys watching, if you would be into this, um, but I've been thinking about doing like a post-series stream on games when we finish them for the longer stuff mm -hmm. where we just kind of like sit down and kind of go through the things that we kind of learned from the game mm -hmm. um, and just talk about the experience in general and if there are things left to wrap up we can take care of it then right so in this case uh, it would be a very long stream or a series of streams of us just going around and you know getting all of the dead trees that we missed which is all of them which is all of them basically except for maybe two Let's be honest, I probably got like five. Yeah, I think five you, is a solid number. You tried for more than Oops. that. You just didn't get them. That's true. Skip. <laughs> I know it's morning now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I, I think that might be a fun fun thing to do. It would definitely, there's so much stuff that we're going to miss though that it would be more than one stream, I think. Yeah, talk to that guy. Okay. The dude that's like, there's a sea serpent out there. Hello, naked man. You can't swim in the sea, Pooch. It's too dangerous. The water dragon's in there and its mouth is wide open. I can understand wanting treasure, but don't risk your life for it. Cool. Still not helpful. You can't swim in the sea, Pooch. It's too dangerous. Literally what he just said. All right. Sir, this is the public beach. Whoa, his proportions are kind of weird. Very weird, aren't they? I mean, they already were, but from that angle, it really drives it home. Hmm, what to do then? Um, Was that the dojo over there? That's the dojo. The doge? The doge. D the dojo? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me, foxes. <laughs> Excuse me. 
I'm gonna feed you for Seeds? the first time in the last 30 episodes. Oh, it's they're foxes, Eddie. They they eat meat. Do foxes eat meat? I, foxes are scavengers, dude. No, I thought foxes were herbivores. What? What? Do you know what a canine is? Oh my god, they're obviously canines. I'm an idiot. I think uh, they're canines. Whoops. No, they're definitely canines. Why did I? I mean, of the why did I think canine any? genus. Yeah, why did I think any differently? <laughs> Oops, the doodles. Of course hey, they want meat. They're scavengers. I, I mean, they'll, they'll hunt too, but they'll usually only hunt rodents. Just, foxes are so cute and everything that it just seems like they wouldn't kill another animal. Dogs are cute and they eat meat. Yeah, they do. I mean, they're supposed to eat meat. Yeah. Hello? That's just a, a shrine guard, man. I, and I bit him. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck did I deserve that for? What the hell, Pooch? I don't even know you, guy. Let's see what's up here. I don't remember what's in there. Was that just like a shrine? Um, it may have been nothing. It still looks like nothing. <laughs> it's a whole lot of bullshit. Oh, oh it was a treasure. One a little treasure. A whole lot of holy bullshit. A whole lot of holy damn who gives a gosh diggity wow. damn. Wow. <laughs> Who wow. gives a gosh diggity damn it? I guess we Ooh, go back. I jump so you know high. What? You know what? what? I'm going to look this up. Okay. I'm going I'm I'm to fight just... a thing while you look it up. No, you keep doing stuff. Well, it's too late. I already found this. Bad word. Okami Waku. Tell me. <laughs> Tell me, IGN, where we all went wrong. Okay, so well, we see, just took care of eight. The Tower on the Coast. Okay, I think we did Palace Adventures. Pretty sure that's where we save Kaguya. Am I right? Kaguya, yep. Okay, so that's where we save Kaguya. And then we do the digging challenge. Make your way to the north end of the city and you can sneak past the guards using the Veil of Mist brush technique. Don't think we got that. Or did we? What? What did... Whoa, whoa, hold on. When did that happen? That's the sanctuary. C -c 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 Combo breaker! So is be on the lookout for Blossom's Bloom when you've successfully led Kaguya to the bottom. Lower... Layer, follow her until you she stops. Take me, Kaguya helps on her way. It's time to return to Saiyan. Travel back to the aristocratic quarters by whatever means you prefer. So we have to go back to the aristocratic quarters. What? It says make your way to the north end of the city and you can sneak past the guards by using the Veil of Mess brush technique. We don't have that. I'm pretty sure we don't have that. Okay. So, so we might have to figure out how to do that. Hmm. But let's go there anyway and see if there's a thing we can do. To the city! Because, yeah, we have to go to the city to talk to, um, the queen. Which we haven't oh, done yet. Oh, that's right. Through the crack in the wall. Yeah. Remember that? Remember that thing? I vaguely recall. I vaguely recall it. I call it Wait, the do we certainly not have that technique? I'd be good Brush technique. Bail missed. Oh. Never oh. oh. Right. We literally got that That's not this, that long ago. This thing. I don't remember what it does. Yeah, I actually don't remember yeah. <laughs> when, how we used that before. Obstensively, it's to sneak past things. I guess. Welcome to the city. <laughs> Welcome to the jug house. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. We have questions? How do we know the names? Well, <laughs> you fetch your friend. Oh, look at that one healed tree. So beautiful. So delightful. <laughs> You're so bad at drawing circles, Eddie. You're a very... Not a very good demigod. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a lost demigod. I'm confused about how to do everything. <laughs> Woo. Accurate. I tried to do like four trees right there. None of them worked. <laughs> Oopsie doodles. I mean, you know, if we tried to get every tree, this would be a 300 episode If series. we tried to cleanse all the oh. evil from the world. 
I didn't notice that before. That's this really cool. This never looked like that. Yeah, well, because it was, uh, I think, foggy. It was the green mist. Yeah. That looks really cool. It I like really that, cool. that, like, atmosphere. Yeah. The atmosphere. Yeah. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. Eat my sphere. Whoa. What? It's, a sphere. it's an apple. That's an apple. Apples are not spherical. Shut up. It's an orange. I can be spherical. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Ooh. All right. This is the way we've turned this conversation. <laughs> this is where you use the veil of mist. Use the veil of mist. Now you see me. Now you don't. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Where did the dog come from? It's probably fine. More like, where did the dog go? That's true. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so Was yawning, guys. the only guys. dogs? Man. Guards, I mean. <laughs> I was going to say, dogs? I, I meant guards. I don't follow. <laughs> it was the only thing. All right. <laughs> oh. Hello? Uh, what? Why are you wearing a mask? Oh, no. Why, is it really you? Her Majesty Queen Himiko has foreseen your coming. I must, you must not delay. Please, Queen Himiko awaits on the top floor. Himiko's waiting for us. If you are really the ones Queen Himiko has been looking for, even a boiling sea of flames won't stand in your way, will it? I want to go there. Well, I mean, I think we are. So... Oh, boy. A, bo a boiling sea of flames? Is that what you said? That's lava. Uh, boiling Magma. sea of flames. I don't know if my health insurance is going to cover this. <laughs> I, look, I, I got to call oh, my... Boy. I got to call Blue Cross. Yeah, I got to ask him if this is a liability. It's like, yeah, your coverage is gone. Well... You Look obtained that. holy artifacts. Look at Scroll drawn by wandering artists. There's, there's, there's lava inside the castle. How did it get? <laughs> wow! What the heck? What's all this lava <laughs> doing here? You may be God now, but you'd end up a crispy critter if you fell in this stuff. I like your Price is Right version of... Uh... But we won't give up that easy. Did Himiko really think this could stop the great Amaterasu? Why don't you just equip that thing you got? <laughs> that Himiko's truly... Sure, that, that Himiko's sure making things difficult. She must really have a good reason for wanting to keep people away. Let's keep going, Annie, but be careful. Equip the thing I just got. Yeah, the artifact. Probably under equipment. You're a wise one, Mr. Grinch. Oh, oh protection from fire. Have oh, against the wear protection from that's fire. not the thing we just got, but it's still good. That's what they meant. That's what they meant. That's what they meant. Oh, we haven't tried that's any of these other beads. Because they're all worth it. Are they? Yeah. No, no, the, the other... The Yeah, life beads, devout beads. What oh, are the my bad. I didn't see it was... It was sorry. Rapid attacks. Draws upon... Pure, pure life, life energy to destroy evil. Purifying rosary that contains the power of holy light. Interesting. Tilt the Wii remote up and hold for a charge deck with a Roji's glaive. I'm just going to try this, actually, for a little bit. I'm going to try this thing. Out. Have we used that? No, we haven't. It's oh. a sword. I'm trying it. Yeah, I mean, It's a Roji's glaive. Why man. haven't we tried more, more can, weapons? So can I just... Well, you can drown still. Nice. But, I mean, like... Oh, well, I guess you really okay. didn't need to. Mm. That, was, that was pretty short. What's the point then? Be, well, because you had to take care of Kaguya before you went here. That's, that's, that's the point. I guess really, we don't really know if I would just die if I went in that, I guess, huh? You would. you would have died before. Probably would have just died right away, right? I mean, it's a pretty safe thing to assume yeah. for just about any yeah. Yeah. anyone jumping in lava. So next time ever, before you jump to a conclusion, maybe just think about it. Maybe just jump in lava. Maybe just think about it for a second <laughs> before you start being like, what? <laughs> what? What? Um, get your save on. All right. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> what have we learned from all years of games? <laughs> that we are about to make friends. Yes. 
Actually, this is cool though. I, I feel like this is a trope of like uh, royalty in in like old school Japan. Yeah. So that they'd have these gigantic chambers, mm -hmm. and they'd be behind like that that screen door. Pretty wicked. Um, and it's it's like a um, like a a power move, right? Where oh, yeah. it's like it it makes everyone else feel small and weak. Oh yeah. It's 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 clever. Yeah. I like it. And they pretty much like project their shadow kind of with lights from behind oh, yeah. onto it. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ami, I bet that's Amiko. Looks like that freaky shut in is praying or something. Wow, hey, don't insult her. She's going to kill us. This is why <laughs> she's going to kill the us. The security here was pretty tight, it, mm, but nothing we couldn't handle it wasn't that tight. There was Listen. literally there was only two guards that we had to sneak by. Well, I mean, and a lake of lava. <laughs> no big deal, just lava them. On the tenth floor right. of the palace. That is seemingly built of wood. Exactly. Anyway, yeah, you tell her, Amy. <laughs> I mean, like, it's pretty apparent that. Benevolent Amaterasu, I have been waiting for you. And as soon the traveling artist, you do, of course. Hey, how do you know our names? Anyway, first things first. Why is your voice so deep? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you sound like that? You knew about that funky mist and the water dragon, didn't you? You've got some explaining to do. Tell us what you're up to. Sub. <laughs> my people, my poor people, their suffering torments me. Sickened by this mist. And, oh, sorry, I need to launch it. <clears throat> Sickened by this mist and terrorized by the water dragon. The cries of their pain wash over me like a torrent. I couldn't do the voice anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, we all, we all can and knew. It's okay, buddy. You can take over the voice. You can have her voice. Okay. We know what's going on. You're tormenting the people of this city. You must be a monster feeding off the, the ill will it generates. Now stop stalling and raise this grimy old curtain. Come on, show yourself, you old hag. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Eason, your words are very harsh. But you are right. It was rude of me to hide my face from you. Ah, so scratchy. So scratchy, your throat? <laughs> Benevolent, I'm harassed. I'm Amaterasu, I am Iko, the ruler of Seian City. Offer my most sincere apologies. It's all about knowing where to put it in your throat so that you can keep it going for a while. That's true. <laughs> there's a place for it. All I'm saying is there's a floating orb above her. I mean, like lava. Like, we all know how this is going to go. Mm -hmm. She lit her head on fire just now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's kind of a badass. She's possessed. Oh. I'm pretty sure oh. she's not the real queen right now. As ruler, I can't stand by and watch my people suffer. Or maybe this is a real her. I just think this is a boss battle. I, Imiko, will not allow this evil to darken Seat. My prayers will not cease until we are rid of this curse. Until we have located the hateful monster's stronghold, Oni Island. Mm, maybe, maybe she is real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe she's. I think actually... this is her. I, I, I like this as her voice. She's though. awesome. What's this about a monster stronghold? Are you saying that's the? I like it too. Are you saying that's the source of your city's problems? Can't say I've ever heard of Oni Island or whatever you call it. Oni and Island. What do you being mean? Demon Island. What do you mean when you're trying to locate the island? Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's an island, right? It couldn't have just floated away. I bet it's floating. I bet it's a floating island. Oni Island is elusive. Ah, it's a floating island. <laughs> <laughs> it vanishes each day at sundown, shifting to a new location. No one knows where in the vast wide ocean it will reappear. So even if I wanted to dispatch an army there, it would never arrive. Mm. You don't say. Shucks. Still, why'd you stay cooped up in this room all day long? I mean, what good would it do to simply play, pray day in? I mean, what good will it do to play, bleh, bleh. 
pray. Why are you day praying every day? And day out. <laughs> <laughs> because my head is on fire. Cannot read. Also, why is her head on fire? That's a lot. It's got to get hot. Because she's awesome. I mean, true. She trying to mess with us. <laughs> this is the treasured crystal ball. My family, the Yamari clan, has ruled Zayan City forever. This crystal ball has been passed down through the generations. I can foresee the future in it. It told me you are coming. And it will tell me where in the ocean Oni Island will appear next. Interesting. You could find Oni Island in a jiffy with that thing. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. So... <laughs> Exposing a stronghold like Oni Island demands so much holy power. But if our enemies knew about my prayers, they would stop at nothing to prevent me in my mission. This is why I have locked myself away. Prayers are our only hope. Behind the lava. But the spearhead of the enemy's forces may have already be on its way. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. 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 Hey, that's a pretty good story, Queenie. Why, but why do you not believe? Uh, I'll go along with it. I mean, what the heck? I'd do anything for a pretty lady. <laughs> Can we put him in the lava? Yes. <laughs> 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 that was such a uh that was um such a common zap sound effect for that wall too i'm not saying it's a bad thing i love it it was pretty it was a really that was a really good that was really good though i like it it was just good i like it be careful you cannot approach me now i'll fucking kill you by taking this crystal ball in my hand a powerful magical barrier is erected to dispel any misfortune. You will be struck down by divine forces if you try to approach. It's also called electricity. <laughs> this crystal ball ensures my safety. Even if my enemies learn of my prayers, the barrier will protect me from their attacks. Is she the most breathe, powerful person in the entire world? Well, not more powerful than a Matarasu, but like but if a Matarasu, maybe most powerful human being. But if I can't, well, oh, I, I, oh, I mean, like, oh, it doesn't do anything. You to me. are a god. <laughs> yeah, there is no cause for alarm. What? Sorry. I mean, yeah. no cause for alarm. Yeah. A regular monster could right. break my crystal ball. Right. <laughs> you can bite her though. <laughs> Alright, well we're way over time, but I wanted Again. to finish that cutscene. Yeah man, well that's what happens when you go cutscene to cutscene, Duder. Uh Duder Durinsky Question anyway. Question of the day. Um Are we stupid? Uh well that's a given. But I, I actually am curious to hear what you guys think about the, the sequence to getting to Queen Himiko. And how they kind of presented it like it was going to be a boss battle. I think there's some interesting narrative choices going on with just the environment design of this of this area. And, like, there is cultural uh, reference to this, right? Like, this is a thing that, uh, ostensibly, I'm not going to pretend like I know much about Japanese history. But this is a thing that you would do as, like, an emperor, or in this case, empress, or queen... Mm -hmm. Like you, you build these little large elaborate rooms to kind of intimidate the people in the room, mm -hmm. show them how weak and powerless they are against you. Uh, so I, I think there's a lot of context for it too. So I, what, just share your thoughts on on the environment design of this area. Dang cool. It. Bye. Next time I'm gonna talk to her again. <laughs> see what she says. <laughs>